you have a great job. You know, that's looking outside. The weather's really right now. Coming up on half past the hour. Oh no. Ooh. No, no, no. Please pull over. Notice it. Pull over. Pull over. Pull over. Pull over. Pull over. Hi guys, my name is Leah and welcome to Popcorn Roulette. Today we're going to be watching Planes, Trains, and Automobiles together. I really don't know much about this movie other than it's like the ultimate Thanksgiving movie is what everybody says about it. So I'm really, really excited to watch that around Thanksgiving with you guys. And um, yeah, honestly, I don't know too much about it. So I'm just excited to go into it a little bit blind. And if you want to have the whole watch along with me, that's going to be on Patreon. Like and subscribe for more content. And with that, let's get into the movie. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> the noises of each thing as the titles come by. New York City, two days before Thanksgiving. Oh, I know him. He's in the Pink Panther. I really liked those. He's funny. I would like to buy a hamburger. <laughs> what is this school? Why are we? Sitting here in silence, being judged for speaking in a meeting. Oh, okay. Oh God, I'm in anticipation with them. Say something. No. Solid hours of staring at the material to decide to reconvene after the holidays, especially with the layout of cosmetics, not curing cancer. That is crazy. Damn it, I left my gloves in Brian's office. When I get in the elevator, I get in the taxi, I get on a plane, and I'm home. Would you pick them up for me? Uh -huh. I'll drive over tomorrow and get them. Right in Chicago, John. You'll never make the city. <laughs> That's the dude from Footloose. <laughs> Kim Beacon, what are you doing here? <laughs> what is that smirk? I'm like running for the same taxi. That's hilarious. Oh no. Oh no. Jump it. <laughs> oh man, no way. He almost just got run over. And this guy still got the taxi? That's crazy. What a ask him where he's gone. What if you guys are going at least the same direction? There's a lot of eye contact. <laughs> Cap! Cap! A little suitcase cameo. Sir? Mm. Well, I'm desperately late for a plane, and I was wondering if I could appeal to your good nature and ask you to let me have it. I don't have a good nature. Excuse me. Rude. Uh, 20. I'll give you $20 for it. I'll take 50. Oh, right. oh dude. Anyone who'd pay $50 for a cab certainly pay 75 Not necessarily. No way. No way. Have a happy holiday. This will help. Hey, 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 that's my cat. Don't. Just try and get another. Oh my gosh. This is not how cabs work. At this point, just run to the airport. <sighs> If you, 
could catch. Oh. If you can catch the cab running after it, then like walk yourself to the airport. You're never gonna make a six o'clock at 5.58. Are you even through security yet? Yeah, I guess so, but. So he made it and then it got delayed. Honestly, you better be thankful because, you know, they usually board 15 minutes before. <laughs> Shh, it's daddy. Mm -mm. Couldn't be any later than 10. Mm. The Canadian mountain. Mounted? Is that what it's like? Yeah, mounted. <laughs> oh, <laughs> the replay of his face is hilarious. I know you, don't I? I'm usually very good with names, but I'll be damned if I haven't forgotten yours. You stole my cab. Mm. I've never stole anything in my life. Oh. You're the guy who tried to get my cab. Uh. I knew I knew you. Yeah. You scared the bejesus out of me. <laughs> Two sides to every story. It was awful easy to get a cab during rush hour. Mm -mm. I am sorry. I had no idea that was your cab. Oh. Let me make it up to you somehow, huh, please? Is this real or is he... Coffee. No. Milk? No. Soda? No. Some tea? No. Lifesavers? No. <laughs> so many... <laughs> On a seat in first class where I was booked and ticketed over a month ago. This is just about enough of you. Now take your seat. Oh, you had about enough of me. First you delay me, then you bump me. I can't wait to see what happens next. Is this a coincidence or what? <laughs> Have a seat. Mm, of course. Because who else could he be suited by? <laughs> Dang. Del Griffin, American Light and Fixture, Director of Sales, Shower Curtain Ring Division. Shower Curtain Division. I sell Shower Curtain Ring. Mm. Best in the world. Who you are? I'm Neil Page. Neil Page. Pleased to meet you, Neil Page. He's so smushed thing I want to be remembered as is an annoying blabbermouth. <laughs> you know, nothing grinds my gears worse than some chowder head who doesn't know when to keep a big trap shut. If you catch me running off with a mouth, just give me a poke in the chops. Give me a poke in the chops. Oh my gosh. <laughs> as if that's the solution. Oh. No. My dogs are barking today. No, he's <laughs> not. <laughs> my dogs are bark. Oh God. That feels better. Waving the sock is crazy. He can't be act. This has to be on purpose. Like, there's no way this guy can be so not there. <laughs> what? What? What kind of nightmare is this? No. They're both facing towards him for what? No. Six bucks in my right nut says we're not landing in Chicago. Uh. Uh. Opens his eyes, looks him in the eye. My right nut says we're not landing in Chicago. I'm in Wichita. Mm. I got a motto. Like your work, love your wife. Oh, I'll remember that. Hmm. I mean, it's a sweet motto. He's not wrong. Yeah, but by the time the airline cancels this flight, which they will sooner or later, you'd have more of a chance to find a three-legged ballerina than you would a hotel room. Saying I could be stuck in Wichita? I'm saying you are stuck in Wichita. He's smart. Like, you know, the guy's been doing random stuff, but... Mm -hmm. I know the manager pretty well. I sold him some rings for his curtains. If you want to pick up the cab fare, I'll make sure you get a room for the night. Yeah, sure, great. All right. You know they're going to end up rooming together. Trunk? Yeah, you should try lugging this thing around New York City. <laughs> Has so many stickers on his trunk. Oh my gosh, this car is so funny. What? Wolf. <laughs> Looks like my car. <laughs> <laughs> Did your friend never been around here, so I just figured he'd like to look around. 
don't see nothing uninteresting, but interesting. Middle of the night. I know, I know, but he's proud of his town. You know, that's a damn rare thing these days. I really can't tell. Is he like, is it on purpose or is it, he's just that oblivious, but he's really smart. He's gotten everything right so far. It's like he's been around the block or something. Take care of the luggage, will you, Doobie? No, do not leave Doobie to take care of the luggage, please. His name's Doobie. Stick with me. Like, he's gonna take the luggage or something. I'd get your luggage out of that car, seriously, for real. Well, Biffy, how the hell are you? Well, I'm still a million bucks shy of being a millionaire. <laughs> <laughs> me. You still one of those uh, discount credit cards for the rooms? I'll have to charge you for a double, but uh, with a discount, we'll come out even. Pretty good. We're saving money already. We're a pretty good team. We were on our way to Chicago from New York in the storm. Yeah, he just said I'll have to charge you for a double, so. Half your flight booked in already. Oh, did he get the wrong? Fixed. Overnight so, uh, disc. Yeah, he's got the wrong card. Last room in the complex. <gasps> <sighs> I mean, hey, it was technically his room, so. Does it just have one bed? <laughs> and there was one bed. No. Yeah, right there. You don't see cats like that too often, you know. <laughs> They're both like we are grown men. You wanna take a shower? No. Oh. You thought I would. No, well, I would. What do you think I am? Yeah, no. <laughs> no. Uh -huh. Oh my gosh, what? That's his wife. The bed. <laughs> oh, like he went first earlier. That's hilarious. I'm like, oh, ew, no. Oh, no. <laughs> no. This. <laughs> Oh my gosh, no. Stop, the two of them. I switched pillows with you, but I'm allergic to sponge. So he's in all night with that thing. My old pillow is hypoallergenic. Hey, he's smart. What can I say? He's a little eccentric, but. I had no idea those beer cans were going to blow like that. They vibrated in bed. What did you think was going to happen? A long day. It just, it just didn't occur to me. You used to have to sleep in a puddle of beer. You want to switch? No, I just want to sleep. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Is he filing his nails? <laughs> Moving out of here very shortly. Ew. Ew. Oh my god. This is a nightmare scenario. What? <laughs> that shot as he just stared at <laughs> the like hawking up a loogie or something. Oh. <laughs> no. <laughs> if I don't clear my sinuses, I'll snore all night. I mean, hey, he's looking out for me. What do you do, slap him in the head? What? What? What is that supposed to mean? You're not a very tolerant person. Very Loki true, but God, you're a tight ass. Why'd you like a mouthful of teeth? He's been very nice to you. 
I even let you pay for it so you wouldn't feel like an intruder, which you most certainly are. Free cab, you got a free room. Someone will listen to your boring stories. I mean, didn't, didn't you notice on Both of them are like kind of right. Are you eating a vomit bag? No. You're a miracle. Your stories have none of that. You're not even amusing accidentally. Honey, I'd, li I'd like you to meet Dell Griffith. He's got some amusing anecdotes for you. Oh, here's a gun so you can blow your brains out. You'll thank me for it. I, I could tolerate any, any in. Oh. <laughs> and listen to them go on and on with a big smile on my face. Okay. How can you stand it? Hudson Del Griffin. That was crazy. Shower curtain ring guy. <laughs> oh, it's still... It's still going. It's like you have a little spring on your chest, you know, that I pull out and have to snap. Just stop. And you're telling these little stories? Here's a good idea. So much more interesting for the listener. Oh my God, dude! Hit me. Go right ahead. It makes you feel any better. I'm a moving target. I talk too much. I also listen too much. Period. I be a cold-hearted cynic like you. I don't like to hurt people's feelings. I'm not changing. I like. I like me. My wife likes me. So I'm the real article. What you see is what you get. That was brutal. Oh, not he's getting back in bed. <laughs> Apologize. Do not go to bed angry right now. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <gasps> oh. New fear unlocked. I feel like now one thing is gonna think like the other person's person's gonna like think the other person stole it too. The Cracker Jacks. The music. <laughs> Are they spooning? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> No, no, no. No. Oh. Like a like of his hand. Oh, you're holding my hand. Where's your other hand? Uh-uh. And two pillows. Those aren't pillows. Ah! Oh my gosh. Oh. 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 <sighs> Oh my gosh. No. Bears game last week? Yeah, hell of a game. Hell of a game. Bears got a great team this year. Oh, gonna go all the way. Bears got a great team this year. Oh my gosh. No. Ew. No, it's undies. No, it just keeps going. Take my socks out of the sink if you're gonna brush your teeth, all right? Where are you? Here in the motel room with a stranger. Are you crazy? Did you call the airline? Everything's booked solid, but they said I have a good chance of getting on standby. You should have booked it last night. How the hell else can we get? A buddy of mine works for the railroad. Yeah, I sold them all their uh, shower curtain rings. He owes me a favor. I get that. Paid for everything else. Why break precedent? You're making me feel like a freeloader. Mm. Put me on the train. We're square. Oh my gosh. That's the easy part. What? You know damn well what. No, he doesn't. I knew it. Seven hundred dollars. <sighs> Didn't touch your dough, Neil. A lot of things, but I'm not a thief. You went into my stuff last night, right? Count it. There's $263 in there. Just count it. Count it. 263 right? Uh. Ugh. Empty. What? <sighs> we were robbed. 
Do you think so? You know, I've been thinking. Oh my god, no, it's so bad. Get me to the train station and I'll take care of everything else. Oh, I got that all covered. Gus's son's gonna pick us up. This is not him, is it? Gee, I hope not. Hmm. Hey, at least he's got a ride. What do you got? For sure. Oh. Ew. No. No. <laughs> Are you Gus's son? I'm Owen. How are you? Ew, okay. no. <laughs> he didn't stop doing that. He's missing. <laughs> stop. He's... <laughs> I'm to drive you to Wichita to catch a train. Train don't run out of Wichita. Unless you're a hog or a cattle. <laughs> no. No, no, no. Equal train runs out of Stubville. Where the hell is Stubbillville? Where the hell is Stubbill? Get your lazy behind out here and put <gasps> that trunk up in the back. <gasps> no. Oh, no, no. The word we've got, it's oh. very heavy. Short and skinny, but she's strong. Oh, my gosh. First baby, come out sideways. She didn't scream or nothing. No. You're a real trooper. We got it. We got we it already. Got it. It's done. <laughs> we believe you. How much further? No more than 45, though. I'd be laying down. Depending on which way you go. Up in if the hay. If you go the back roads, it could be anywhere up to 70 miles. <laughs> oh my gosh, there's a dog. <laughs> Guess I wouldn't be laying down in the hay. <gasps> Give him the damn club. <laughs> How big the temperature is? One. Huh? Yeah, uh, didn't have two together. Yeah, I think they're just full. Hey, we're lucky we got a ticket. I feel like it's gonna be super empty on there. <laughs> they're gonna end up sitting again. You wanna get together for a drink in the bar? Oh my gosh. I'm gonna get some sleep. Anyway, it's uh, been interesting. That's the understatement of the year. I need your address. I, I gotta send you the money to pay you back for this ticket. Ticket's a gift. Happy holidays. Same to you. What's gonna happen? I mean, I know the train's gotta get messed up or something. Cause we're playing trains and automobiles, so we have to get back to the car at some point. Going home for Thanksgiving? Oh. Yeah. No. <laughs> you want a mile? Charles will meet you, and I'll take you to Jefferson City. You know, you gotta help him. Go help him. Yep. Go help him. You know he's looking at you. Go help him. He helped you. He's trying to be- come on. <laughs> In a pretty lousy mood, huh? Traveled by bus before? The mood's probably not going to improve much. Me, but with boiled peanuts. <laughs> He's like, but wait. <laughs> Movie on a plane, huh? No way. Why didn't you take a picture to last longer? You got busted. That was good. <laughs> I guess this is probably as good a time as any to tell you this. Our tickets are only good to St. Louis. <gasps> oh no. All right, who knows the tune here? Who wants to sing a tune? Who's got a song? I got one. Uh, three coins in a fountain. No. No, they don't know this. Yeah. 
Hmm. I'm with the American Light Fixture Company, Jewelry Division. Do you have a minute? This is your Diane Sawyer autographed earring. Jewelry Division! Thanks. This is Czechoslovakian ivory. That's, that's, that's five dollars. The in their ears, yes. Scan them. <laughs> with helium, so they're very light. No, scan them. <laughs> All right, these were originally handcrafted. He's killing it. In the fourth century. Now these, of course, aren't the originals, but they are replicas. Don't leave your stuff. You're gonna get it all stolen again. I'm Marty Page, and I'm thankful that my dad's coming home for Thanksgiving. Aww. You know something? It makes you look a little older too. You could pass for 18 or 19. That's hilarious. <laughs> Call the wife. Ron was home. He popped at my daughter's Thanksgiving pageant. Mm -hmm. those, those are the precious moments, too. They don't come back again. I think you need too much time away from home. I haven't been home in years. What, seriously? No, it's a figure of speech. You know, I'm on the road so much. By the way, I called a good friend of mine, Eastern Airlines. Okay, topic change. No, I called all the airlines. We're still sitting on over 100 beans for my brilliant idea. Mm-hmm. Terrific salesman. He was. But, uh, we put our heads together. You know, we really, we really got nowhere. Uh. We'll get to where we're going a lot faster if, uh, well, okay. I see. Mid meal? So awkward. Yeah, I know what you're saying. Thanks. Yeah, okay. It's all right. No. Yes. Yeah, no, like, no, this you, I told you, I do not feel like taking your money. He's trying to be kind and make sure you have a way to get home. Like, luck to you and, uh, Hope you get home soon. And it's like tough because at the same time you get this guy's point of view. It's like, yeah, he's being like a bit of a, you know, but at the same time, like this guy's been nothing yet nice to him, but at the same time it's like, yeah, you have been with a complete stranger for like, you know, day and a half now that you're not getting along with the best and like might be easier for you to figure out your way home on your own. So I get it. So it's like a weird situation because I think I would also, if it was me, I would set the boundary. And be like, I'm sorry, like, let's go our separate ways. But at the same time, he's being so nice and, like, actually taking care of you as a human. So maybe you wouldn't. I don't know. <laughs> oh, my gosh. The worst luck ever. Hey! Hey, the car's not there! I'm killing you! Oh, no. <laughs> the balance of Bambi <laughs> into the street. <laughs> The tarmac? Are you kidding me? <laughs> oh, Jean Marie, you're a stitch. <laughs> Mom's gonna do the turkey. Yeah, Dad wants ambrosia. Oh my gosh. He's really hitting his breaking point. <laughs> crashed out. Very much crashed out. Gobble, gobble. Woo! Yeah, yeah, better speak up. Welcome to Marathon. May I help you? Yes. How may I help you? Start by wiping that dumbass smile off your rosy cheeks. Damn. Give me a automobile. That's a Toyota. Oh my gosh. Four wheels and a seat. I really don't care for the way you're speaking to me. I really don't care for the way your company left me in the middle of nowhere with May I see your rental agreement? I threw it away. Sure. 
I would have done the same. I don't blame her one bit. Yeah, where are you going? Chicago. Why don't you try the airlines? If I wanted a joke, I'd follow you into the john and watch you take a leak. <laughs> are you going to help me or are you going to stand there like a slab of meat with mittens? <laughs> Just, just a minute, okay? Get it out of here! What is your problem? <laughs> now I'll move my car, but I want you to help him up. No! My pleasure. Oh, gosh. Oh. <laughs> you know, I had a feeling that when we parted ways, somehow, someday, our paths would cross again. I've never seen a guy get picked up by his testicles before. Lucky thing for you, that cop passed by when he did. Otherwise, you'd be lifting up your schnuts to tie your shoes. <laughs> Do you have any idea how glad I am I didn't kill you? Do you have any idea how glad I'd be if you had? Mm-mm. How am I supposed to go with the flow when the rental car agency leaves me in a hundred acre parking lot with keys to a car that isn't there and then I have to hide three miles back to find out they don't have any more cars? Oh! oh. Uh, I thought he was driving. <laughs> he's driving, he's just like... Struggle bus. What? <laughs> There's only a couple good positions. They're going to break it. <sighs> lovely, lovely. Oh. Oh, damn. I need your shoes on. I can't relax if I got my shoes on. Relatable. You know, there's plenty of things about you that bother me, but I'm uh, decent enough not to bring them up. Really? That's yeah. right. Mm-hmm. Well, there's Curious. lots of things. Well, name one. Why don't you well, name one? there's quite a few things. You want me to name one? Yeah. yeah. Go for it. You play with your balls a lot. Hmm. Look at the way his face froze. Do not play with my balls. Mm. Larry Bird doesn't do as much ball handling in one night as you do in an hour. Are you trying to start a fight? No, I'm simply stating a fact, that's all. You fidget with your nuts a lot. You know what would make me happy? Another couple of balls and an extra set of fingers. <laughs> that was good. What would make me happy is if you give your mouth a rest. You asked him. <laughs> oh. All right. Give me my wallet in the glove compartment. Don't let me forget it. All right. You're definitely going to forget it. Also, wasn't there like a specific credit card switch or something that we saw earlier? They're doing the mess around. They're doing the mess around. When I say stop, don't you move a bit. Mess around. Me when I'm driving. Oh, still me when I'm driving. I'm just kidding. He is so into it. Stop. Open your eyes. <laughs> I think you're gonna slide away. Stop. Stop, stop, stop. No, what is gonna happen? Everybody is gonna have some fun. They're doing the mess around. Looking outside, the weather's beginning to clear up now. Coming up on half past the hour. Oh no. <laughs> No, 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 please pull over. Notice it. <laughs> pull over, pull over, pull over. Pull over. Pull over. Pull over, no, 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 no. 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 <laughs> this is giving me so much anxiety. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Wake him up. Wake him up and pull over or just start braking really slowly if you're going straight. Stop. I'm begging you to stop. No, I'm. Please. 
He didn't notice that? No. Oh my gosh. Oh, we, we almost hit a deer, that's all. Uh, Are you all right? Yes, I'm fine. Oh my gosh. It's pretty hot in here, you ought to take your park off. Yes, I will. Mm -mm. Why is it getting so hot in there? It's freezing outside. And you guys definitely just went out the wrong way. No, 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 no. Holy shit, look at that guy on the wrong side of the highway. No, like no. Hey! Hey, what's going on? Joker wants the race. No! Race? That's ridiculous. No! Put your window down! You want something. Oh my gosh, the car is on the highway. What? You're going the wrong way! Oh, he's drunk. How would he know where we're going? Stop. Thanks a lot. No. Thank you. No. No. <laughs> You're going in the wrong direction! No, no, no. You're going the wrong way! Why? <laughs> Is he right between them? <laughs> the <laughs> stop, stop, stop. <gasps> they just keep going. <laughs> oh my gosh. Pull off. Careful, careful. Oh my god. Oh, this isn't so bad. It's totaled, but. Off this out, no problem. Oh, yeah. So optimistic, dude. I mean, that was close. <laughs> we can laugh about it now. We're all right, you know. Yeah, you almost just killed us. Oh. What a night. No. I knew I saw smoke in the back of the car earlier. Yeah. Is, is his stuff still back the, in, in the, this, the car? Yeah, yeah. The way they're both just like, I mean. All his stuff is in there, yeah. <laughs> Like, all his stuff happened to fall off the car. Yeah, yep, all of his shit is in there. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> you finally did it to yourself. Oh, no, don't be mean to him right now. I mean, good luck turning the car. <laughs> they're going to be happy as pigs and shit to see you. <laughs> At least he's laughing with you. You're being kind of rude, but... <laughs> Your stuff's in there, dude. Look at you rent the thing anyway without a credit card. I used yours. Oh, I gave this gal behind the counter a set of shower curtain rings. <laughs> mm. I can't rent a car with shower curtain rings. I used yours. Uh huh. Well, uh, somehow your uh, diners club card wound up in my wallet. Of course it did. You stole it! Not exactly! You stole no, my car! My life. I, I know did. you stole it! I did not you steal stole your my car! And then you rented a car! And then you burned it up! Oh, so he... So he went and got the... Why would I put it there? Kindness? Kindness? You stole it! He stole it! No, I didn't! I mean, in general, why would you use somebody else's car? I bet if he had his car... Give it back! I can't! It's in the car. Because when we stopped the gas up, I put the card back in your wallet. So he's gonna try and like get away with that too. It's interesting. It's like he's not as innocent as he seems. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Instant karma. What? They're in the car and it's working. How did they even get the fire out? You need one room. Major credit card. 
Mm-hmm. I have uh, Founders, Equal, and uh, Gasoline Card. Huh. These aren't uh, credit cards. <laughs> oh, I'll pay cash. Forty-two fifty. You don't have cash. He has cash. Seventeen dollars. I can't do that. You're wearing the same underwear since Tuesday. I can talk for that. <laughs> I don't. I don't. I don't own the place. Oh. Dollars. Hell of a nice watch. I have two dollars oh. and a Casio. Hmm. Nine. It's a double bed. <laughs> She's in her full face to make up her bed. You know it. Again, my dear you are as right as rain. I am, without a doubt, the biggest pain and neglect that ever came down the pike. Meet someone whose company I really enjoy. I go overboard, causing more trouble than he has a right to. I mean, a little, but uh, it's not even that. It's more using his credit card to purchase cars and things as such. But you know, yeah, <laughs> of course. Go get your buddy. You got the double bed. He's out there in the cold, and you know it. Mm-hmm. Looks so sad out there. It's gonna freeze to death out there. Hmm. <laughs> How's your drink? Good. No problem? Hmm. <laughs> Where you been? You been to Italy? At Amaretto? Amaretto and this is a gin. Or gin. You been, where have you been? You been to Italy? <laughs> you had an Amaretto? Oh, that's hilarious. A good combo or what? Got Great legacy, huh? Or at least. The absolute minimum that a woman you love for all this. Girl. You love her, don't you? You can tell he do. Love. I'm not taking it seriously. Oh, I feel about my wife. Well, I'll tell you, as much trouble as I've had on this little journey, I'm sure one day I'm going to look back and laugh. You think so? <laughs> yeah, as long as you pay me back for that car. Oh, the car be right. Is that seat hot or what? <laughs> Turn me over, I'm done on this side. I'm afraid to look at my ass, you know? I'm gonna have those griddle marks. <laughs> <laughs> They're everywhere! <laughs> they, they both had, like, their moment. They both had, like, their little moment with themselves to be like, no. <clears throat> I'm smothering, I'm being too mean. Like, they both had a little moment. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm scared, don't do anything else. Just. Ah! Yeah. Just a minute. They're snowed in. <laughs> All right. That. Uh, gotta go from like the back, dig out the front at least. Push for Christ's sake. You're not pushing. <laughs> oh. You're gonna run over. Up and down, up and down. Here okay. we go, ready? Yeah. Here we go. Don't run him over. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, drive away, quick, drive away. Get it! Go! <laughs> See his reaction to that? He's not such a tight ass anymore. He's all... <laughs> the hand signaling. Oh, that wheel. Yeah. <laughs> no, they're not about to get pulled over. <laughs> You're getting pulled over driving that thing is crazy. Great, great. How fast are you going? I can't tell. The speedometer's no. Pull over. Hmm. Is something I can help you with? What the hell are you driving? <laughs> small fire last night, but we caught it in the nick of time. Do you feel this vehicle is safe for highway travel? 
Yes. Yes, I do. <laughs> Great answer. And you got no outside mirror. No, we lost that. You have no functioning gauges. No, not a one. Can't let you go ahead in this vehicle. The vehicle will be impounded until such time as it can be made safe for travel on state highways. And for that, I'm really sorry. I am. It'll never happen again. <laughs> no, he's not in there. The driver's a little freaky about people riding up in his cab, so we can't sit there. You know, you're going to be in Chicago in three hours. Oh, it's Chicago. It's been a hell of a trip. You guys are still not at a home yet. <laughs> Is this you? Yeah. I don't think I would be feeling the relief until I was home. I guess at this point, maybe his wife could get him or something. But... No trouble. You got me home. And uh, a little late. A couple days. I'm a little wiser, too. That's really sweet. That's really cute. Give him a hug, yeah. Happy Thanksgiving to you. Okay. Mm. That whole, he's really lugging that thing around. <laughs> the outfits. That's cute. Oh, he's like thinking about his family and his wife at home. That's really sweet. You're gonna get home just in time. You're gonna make it. I know it. Oh, is he gonna cry? Don't tell me he's gonna cry. Oh, boy. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Yeah, we have been getting like all these weird little moments. How do you know he was still gonna be there though? Del, what are you doing here? Okay, so it was something with the flashback. He's like a he has a hunch that he's following. I said you were going home. What are you doing here? I uh I don't have a home. Marie's been dead for eight years. Hmm, oh. It makes sense, but I don't want to believe it because you kept like referring to her in present tense. So I thought, I don't know. Yeah. You never asked him about his life. Yes. <laughs> yes. Oh. Where? Why was he going to Chicago then in the first place? Because they were on the same flight. Oh, my heart. Maybe I'll just come in and say hi and then I'll be on my way, all right? Just come on. Number 12. Hi, <laughs> kiddo. Daddy! Oh. <laughs> I'd like you to meet a friend of mine. Come on, Mr. Well, Mrs. Page. That's so sad. That's so sweet. That was so cute. Wow. Okay. I can see why that is the ultimate Thanksgiving movie. That was really, really sweet and really funny and really touching. I really liked that a lot. Um, I don't even know, I guess, where to start for unpacking because I felt like it had such a good wrap up. Like. The movie really came around um they definitely dropped a lot of like little hints throughout that kind of had me like questioning what they were hinting at i mean i wasn't sure that his wife was going to be dead but i was like 
there was definitely some sort of weird, you know, thing going on with his family and the, how he hasn't been home in years. So I knew that something was going to happen, but his wife being dead was really, really sad. And I liked that it came back around at the end and like when she walked down the stairs and like they locked eyes and it was just this moment where it's like he really appreciated his wife because of everything he went through over the weekend and basically they taught each other a lot of lessons i feel like one of them kind of had a moment near the beginning of the movie after he yelled at him and had that like insane like some of the stuff he was saying was crazy i mean i wouldn't go off on my worst enemy like i mean maybe my worst enemy but <laughs> I don't, I mean, being that mean to somebody you barely know is insane. And then, you know, just by him looking at him and being like, yeah, well, I like who I am and I, you know, I am who I am on the surface. And that's like, what you see is what you get. Kind of putting him in his place, literally just be by, like, by being nice to him. I thought that was a great moment. And then for him to have his moment in the car later where he's sitting there cold, and he's talking to his wife, which now makes a lot more sense. And he's doing the whole, like, I'm always too much for people. Cause the whole time, yeah, our main character's being mean, but it's like, you can kind of get it. The other guy's being a little bit annoying, even though he's so nice. I even was questioning a couple times if he was doing this stuff like almost on purpose. Cause it was so just back to back to back. So I feel like they taught each other a lot of lessons. And it was a really, really sweet, wholesome movie with a great roundabout circle at the end good moment so i liked that one a lot and i hope you guys like watching it with me and i'll see you next time